The second dual task exercise is called recognition. All the same numbers you can use for the way it sets the duration. Recognition, the difficulty, we have three different modes where we can play with. If we choose single image, we ask the patient to do one repetition to set the range of motion. Within this range of motion, we can move and have to move our lower cursor to the direction of the correct image. If we don't use the correct image, the red cross. If we do the correct image, we get the green information. Our last dual task exercise is the memory. Also, this one is useful for people with motor control issues or neuromotor disorders. Same menu where we can decide what the exercise should do. We do 25 seconds. The memory is the exercise. The level of difficulty is normal. And we get the question for the range of motion. We ask the patient to move one time slowly up and down. And we are ready. Try to remember the numbers. And try to match where the numbers were. You see, it's not that easy because there's not a lot of time you get to put the numbers in the right place. Also here, like the first math exercise, we get the amount of questions we got, four, that's related to the time, and the amount of correct answers we had, in this case, three.